Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I'm going to show you how to make this cute little box. It features the uh, Turtle Friends Bundle from the 2021-2022 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. It's a punch and a stamp, which we always like. The punch punches out this cute little turtle. Um, inside the box is, can you guess? Well, I looked high and low for something to go with the turtle, and I found turtles. These were found at Walmart in the checkout stand and they were only like a dollar. All right, so let's go ahead and make the box first. You're gonna need a piece of So Saffron cardstock, if I can get it over here, eight and three fourths by six. We're gonna use a Simply Score to score it. All of these score lines can be found on a PDF over on my blog, so make sure you click the link here on YouTube and hop over there and grab it, it's free, and there's two other Turtle Friend projects as well. Okay. Let's see, on the long side, we are gonna score it at three fourths of an inch, seven and a half, and eight and a fourth. Turn it and score the short side at half an inch, one and a fourth, three and a fourth, and four. All right, now you want to get a bone folder. Bone folder will help crease your uh, score lines nice and sharp. So get your bone folder and run it across all of those lines. Don't forget the ones on the other end. Go across. <clears throat> now grab your scissors and you can see we've got two small sections, a big, a small, and a big. So this small one over here is our skinny, skinniest section. And that's gonna be the tab that we put behind uh, the other side. So I'm gonna cut these two uh, squares off right here and I'm cutting it at an angle. I'm doing the same thing down here. Now up here, this is our lid because we've got two segments here. So let's do the bottom first. Cut apart those score lines. And then the square tabs, you wanna cut off the corners. Okay. Now up here, <clears throat> we're gonna keep um, one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. <clears throat> so here's that middle larger section. What I'm gonna do is cut off the little rectangle there. I'm gonna cut off this little rectangle here, but I'm also gonna cut off all the way across, actually, okay? And then we don't need this large section right here. This is the front of our box, so cut that off. All right, now come up and cut these here and here, and then you're gonna actually cut these in half. You want these to match this one. These are gonna be tucked into the box, so don't, don't get out your ruler. Just cut it so that it's about half of what it was. And we're gonna cut that one at an angle. Now, this is how your box looks. I'm gonna put it here so you can see, if you wanna stop the video, so you can see exactly what I did. You can see this is our lid. Okay, let's get some tear and tape. And if I can find the start of my tear and tape, we're gonna tear off a piece that is long enough for our long tab right here. This is where we wanna start. Okay, and then tear it off right there. Now I'm gonna take my scissors or my take your pick tool and get that crease or that uh, lining up like that. And if you fold it in half, it should meet exactly where it needs to meet behind that other side, okay? Now fold up these pieces, the two smaller ones, then the back one, and I'm gonna put the remaining of my adhesive, my tear and tape, right here. Let's see if I can get this peeled off. And you're gonna fold it up like that, okay? So now here's our box. And we're gonna put those turtles in there and close it up. Okay, so now you can decide if you want this to be on the front or the back. I think the first time I did it on the back, this time we'll make it open to the front. 
if I can get that down in there. I have cut a piece of designer series paper. This is the hand pinned DSP. And if you're watching this um, in July, 2021, it is on sale. So make sure you grab it while you can get a discount on it. All right, now let's make our turtles. I am using Pear Pizzazz cardstock and we're gonna use Pear Pizzazz ink. Uh, my color combination here is Pear Pizzazz, Flirty Flamingo, and Balmy Blue. Okay, let's stamp our turtle in Pear Pizzazz. Now you want to stamp it towards the bottom edge because when you take your punch, you're gonna do like this. And if it's too high up, you'll have to cut your cardstock. So do it down towards the edge. All right now, we're gonna use this stamp, which is like the shell uh, texture, the little segments. And when you stamp that, just do it lightly on your ink pad. It's a pretty shallow stamp. You don't wanna get a whole lot of ink there in between the segments. All right, now I'm gonna punch him out with a matching punch. If I line up the tail and the nose, it'll be perfect. There we go. All right, I wanted my turtle to be sitting kind of in a pond. So I pulled out my layering diorama dies. And I think I'm gonna use, let's see which ones did I use? This one, which is the third smallest, and then the second smallest. And we're gonna cut out two pieces from our balmy blue cardstock. So let me bring in the cut and emboss machine. And we'll run these through. These are really fun dies. Lots of things you can do with these. All right. Now, before I lay them together, I'm actually going to take a blending brush and some balmy blue ink, and I'm just going to kind of ink those edges. It's going to give it a little more depth when I layer them together. And we'll do the next one. All right. Now grab your dimensionals. And we'll put two dimensionals on the back of here. And stick that right there. And then we'll get our cute little turtle. And we're going to put a dimensional on him. I have cut out a So Saffron stitched heart from the Give It A Whirl dies, and I'm going to put that on his shell. I just thought that that was a cute little embellishment. Okay, if I can get that straight, there we go. For the sentiment, I'm gonna use the one that says Forever Friends. There's several really cute options here in this set. But I went with this one. It's small for one. And two, I just liked the way that that said forever friends. Now, let me do that again. This is just a little sliver of white cardstock. And I want to punch the end here with the Taylor Tag Punch to make a flag. So I went, it was a little too close to the edge there before. Let's cut that. And get a little bit of Tombow right here and i may have to trim it a little bit more let's see nope i think that's perfect forever friends okay we're almost done now i'm going to use um some just jade gingham ribbon i know that we used pear pizzazz um on our box but we don't have pear pizzazz ribbon and i find that this gingham ribbon is really versatile. You can use it with a lot of different greens. So that's what I'm gonna use it with here. This is this ribbon is from the ribbon pack called Flowers for Every Season. And it's one of my favorites. Okay, so I put that up on that edge and then I'm just gonna get the tag 
can sandwich that ribbon right there. And that's it. What a fun little treat to give somebody, um, a neighbor, a coworker, somebody at school, and it's relatively easy. Now make sure you look for those turtle uh, pecan candies at your Walmart. They were again in the checkout counter. All right, click the link here on YouTube to travel over to my blog where I have a free PDF. <clears throat> it has all the measurements and the product list and two other turtle friend projects. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.